you guys I felt so bad I know but you look so cute it does it's okay when you sweep them to the side her all of her hair was poking her in the face look at what 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 are we looking at uh-huh I don't know what we're looking at baby so I cut them but she moved <laughs> my poor baby she moved at the very last second so they would have been perfectly fine where I was cutting them but um you know, we're just going to sweep them off to the side and pretend like that didn't happen. Plus, with all the other hair, because her hair was actually up in her little pigtails, with all the other hair, like you, it doesn't really look that bad. And the parts that were really long got cut, so it's okay. As long as they put a bow on you, you won't look like a little boy. It's okay. You'd be the prettiest boy in the room, huh? Huh, Joja? Huh, Joja? Boom, boom. So I was in the mood to make a soup. I went um, grocery shopping last night and I was just like, you know, I didn't make a list. I just kind of decided that I was gonna go. And um, what's it called? I was just like, you know what? I really wanna make a soup. I, know, I, I didn't know what kind of soup I wanted to make. So I just kind of got the basics that you would get for any kind of soup really. So I've got some spinach here. I really, really love putting spinach into um, into my soups i find that it just i don't know it just adds really good just kind of meets it up if you guys know what i mean like it makes it a little bit more filling without a bunch of calories so um yeah got some spinach and then um some carrots these are already peeled and cleaned garlic kale potatoes onion and then um later on i'm actually gonna actually no i should probably do it right now i'm gonna uh i have got some chicken in there that i am going to boil up and then shred and then throw into there very last minute and i'm pretty sure that's gonna be delicious i have to be able to oh no i don't think i want to add it to me maybe maybe i don't know we'll see so i'll show you guys what that looks like after a while shosha outfit of the day Oh my goodness, look at how pretty you are. Oh, this is a little bit crooked. I'll have to fix it after her nap anyways. Hi. These little bows were a gift from uh, her auntie, and they are from a company called Paparazzi. I'm not quite familiar with it, but they are very cute. Excuse me, Shosha. Okay, let go, baby. And then her little cat sweater. Shosha, what is that? She's been meowing all morning. Her little cat sweater is from H&M. I thought it was going to be way too big, but it fits. Her little black pants are from Carter's. Or no, these are from Old Navy. They've got little ruffles on the nalgas. I don't know if you guys can see. Not that it matters. And then her boots are from Carter's. They're just cute little leopard boots. You look so cute. Oh, banana? You had a banana this morning and you rubbed it all over my carpet. It's okay because you look so cute. See what I mean? When I comb her bangs to the side, it doesn't look that bad. Although she does kind of look like Donald Trump come over. Oh, you want me to eat it? Okay. So here is my soup. It, I, I, I decided not to add any chicken just because I just, I don't know, I was being lazy, didn't feel like doing it. And yeah, I added sweet potato actually and it tastes very, very, very delicious. I'm really excited to eat this. I just put the kids down for their nap and I actually need to edit last night's vlog. I ended up getting really sick last night. Um, not because I was like drinking and whatnot. In fact, I only had just like one drink and then I I was big big uh, uh, I was designated driver. So um yeah, pretty much the boys got drunky pants and I uh got to have fun, have a good time watching. Um but yeah, in the middle of the night, I got really, really sick. I don't even want to talk about it. It was disgusting. I got really, really sick. I wasn't vomiting. Thank you, Jesus, because that's like one of my worst. That's like one of the things that I hate to do the most in life. Um, but yeah, I got really, really sick. So um, I'm trying to not eat too, too much today because I don't know what. Like, I don't think it was the food that I ate there. And I don't think it was the drinks because we go there all the time. So I've never had a problem with that place. That and everybody kind of ate everything. We all just kind of shared. And um, yeah, I would assume that the boys would have gotten sick too. But it was just me. And um, yeah, so anywho, I'm going to eat and then I'm going to edit the vlog.
Oh yeah, I said all that to say that I was supposed to do that this morning, but I ended up sleeping in. So yeah, anywho, I need to go edit. So Michael's stuff just got in finally. It was supposed to be here four days ago. But at least it's here, right? Yeah. That's what's important. So there you go, big you dog. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Retake, take two. Thank you. Thanks. You might need scissors. Or are you gonna be my He-Man? what I do. Yeah, buddy. Ooh! Came with the sticker. Supper oh, sticker. Arvon, too. I think it has 25 or something. It looks like more than 25. Well, I don't know, but you have to show what it is. Okay. So, cards that you pass out. Mm hmm They say, I just wanted to inform you that I find you to be very attractive. Thank you and have a nice day. Keep calling Chivon. Reuse this card on the next attractive person you see. Yeah. So that's kind of cool, just being nice to people. He asked for those a long time ago. And what I've been like waiting for too. <laughs> uh -oh. My iPhone I thought case. you would love it because you know how obsessed I am with cases. Yes. Gotta get you on the trend, baby. I wonder if it'll go over this rubber that I have on this one. No, it won't. That's the case. It'll protect it, trust me. Oh, I know. I'm just wondering. So actually, I don't like this rubber. It's nice, you know, it doesn't allow anything to touch the screen. Mm -hmm. But it, like, I I can't hit the... Well, yeah, there you go. ...little ones on the sides when I'm typing or texting. Notice how sometimes the most delicious food is also the cheapest to make? I have noticed. That's one thing about Mexican food, you guys. You can eat bomb and it, it costs like nothing. Like right now, for example, kids woke up and uh, we actually have a gig, so they're gonna be uh, babysat while we're gone. And I wanna make sure, obviously, I feed my children. And um, I was just like, okay, what's something that they can eat? Something that's not, that they're not, blah, 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 that they're not gonna fight me on. And I'm making a big fat pot of fideo. Um, some people call it sopita. It really just kind of depends on the, the noodle that you're using. But this is basically, essentially, it's like angel hair pasta. Um, just kind of cut up, if you guys can see. There's just, they're really tiny. And, um... It's delicious. You want to toast it up a little bit. It's going to get a little bit smoky and loud in here right for a second. Oh, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. And then um, basically what you do is you toast it up so that way it can have a little bit of flavor, a little bit of color. And then you're going to add your water and some tomato sauce. Bring it to a boil and cook it like rice. So you're going to bring it to a boil and then reduce the temperature and let it cook for about 15 or so minutes costs literally a dollar to make less than a dollar even thank you so um yeah super cheap but one of the one of one of my favorite things on earth to eat I, you, you can never go wrong with a big giant bowl of sopita in my opinion that's what we grew up on huh babe that's what i grew up on sopita mm -hmm. oh, sopita fideo it's basically just your your pasta with tomato sauce boiled right into the pasta itself and some cheese. <laughs> some families, Michael said that his family, they would eat it more as a soup so there was more liquid. Or my family, the way that I was taught to make it is it's more of kind of along the lines of a pasta dish so there wasn't as much juice. I'll show you guys what it looks like. It was actually, well, if you go back to the vlogs way back when Alyssa was like maybe four months old, um, when we first started her on solids, this is one of the first things that she actually ate and loved. And, um, oh, that makes me so sad now, babe. She is so big. And this is the finished product. Shosha is flipping out because she's hungry. I've been actually having to wait for this to cool down because it was extremely hot. But, um, yeah, it is delicious. Uh, if you've never tried it, I would highly recommend trying it out because, like I said, it is delicious. We, I don't know if you guys will even be able to see me or not, but we are right outside of a gig. Sorta. Sorta. It's kind of exciting. Except that my stomach is still giving me kind of issues right now. 
sorry, baby uh, doll. No, it's fine. I just feel super bloated right now. It's disgusting because it never happens to me. <coughs> I feel literally like, like you know how when you shake a bottle of soda and you open it up, and all the bubbles kind of like, you know? Uh-huh. That's what I would imagine is going on inside of my tummy right now. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good at all. <laughs> and these raspberries, though. Can we agree? Oh, they are. These are good. I picked some good ones. Mm -hmm. I should have gotten two. I had to have them from Shosha because she would have eaten all of them. Little girl can eat raspberries like, like I can down tacos. Ugh. Yep. Yeah. I had to stop eating when my stomach hurts. I'm putting where are you taking that? I'm eating <laughs> So we are home now. Um, gig went, I think the gig went well. They liked it. It was a lot of laughter, a lot of uh, tears. They took us. What? They took us. They didn't just pay us, they also gave us a oh, oh, yeah, I, th I, I don't know what I thought you were saying. <clears throat> I was telling Michael that, um, I don't know if, I, I'm sure I've said this on on vlog, that I want to learn Spanish. That's my, my kind of my resolution for next year. Because when you're playing for like a wedding or when you're playing for like a festival, it's not as personal. So I have a very easy time doing it. It's a lot of fun for me. But when it when you're like in a tiny, it was literally like a tiny little living room, um, not because the place is small, but there was a big giant table and a in lot the of, of it, and there were a bunch of people, and they're all on yeah. chairs, yeah, so not just around the table, but it just makes me sides. very uncomfortable <coughs> to, uh, to I don't know because it's because I can't speak Spanish. I really can't speak Spanish, and then I'm singing in Spanish, and I mean I can understand little bits and pieces of it, so. You know, if I understand something and it's funny, I'm going to laugh at it. And they just kind of expect me to know. And it's just, it's very frustrating to me. It's so frustrating to me because it's like, I know that I can perform. I know that I can, um, I know, you know, what I want to do, what I love, to, what I like to do and how I want to do it. But it just makes it very difficult when I can't talk. I don't know. Anywho, it was a good gig. <laughs> And um, I am having a smoothie right now. I got me some, oh, dang, what did I put in there? Pineapple, raspberry, banana. Orange. Orange. It's delicious. Michael, it got the, it got Michael's approval, which that rarely happens. He's usually like, oh, you should have added some of this. Or it would have been better without been that. Yeah. Beneficial. Yes. Yeah, basically. <laughs> like paprika and Hey, it worked. It could happen. It could happen. So we got that eggnog froyo. Uh huh. That we can, you can eat one of them, and then I want to put. Oh, I don't want to eat any of that. You don't like the eggnog? No, I don't. I don't like it. It's nutmeg. 